Okay, Dad, this came from Monday Mailbag. Uh, trust me, eat it. Trust you. Yeah, well, trust me. It's uh, one of the. It's a delicacy for a country. I can't even open the motherfucker. I'll try anything. I figured you would. Okay, I'll try anything. All right, take it out. Oh my God. All right, Dad. Eat it. Eat it. Ah. Oh, you're gonna lose face on it's, video. It's so sweet. It's so goddamn sweet. That's the sweet shit you would put in your mouth, man. Yeah, tear a piece off and eat it. Oh my god. It's pickled crab embryo. Hey, eat a little more. Oh yeah, drink that juice. Good though. Well, drink the juice. Drink plenty of that juice. See, basically, what that is, is that's pickled crab embryo, and the juice is actually spit from the Hawaiians who pickled it. <laughs> oh, God. You, Ew. God. you just ate Hawaiian spit. <laughs> Get away. Hey, I'm kidding. It's a gummy, it came from Target. Taste it. I have tasted it before. It's a gummy. That ain't no gummy. Right now we are on our way downtown. We have our little ghost box. Hopefully we can pick up some ghosts tonight. What do you think? Last year we didn't pick up much. Didn't pick up anything last year. There's a couple of things. Not much. Yeah, but you seem to have had like a spirit following you lately, so. They always follow the best. <laughs> so we are driving downtown. It is always a bitch to drive down here, isn't it? Always. Oh man, you think that's a sign, Dad? MUSC Weight Management Center. Way in Tuesday? Wednesday. Oh. Look at the other thing. What is that? A red coat and a Confederate soldier. So what do they do? What is this place? It's the uh, storage of the revolution. Oh God! I hate it down here! Downtown needs to close. <laughs> this is it, man. What the fuck is this? Everyone's trying to walk into the car. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you just swerve on purpose? No. That felt like it. That motherfucker was coming to my side. So, sitting downtown with Grandpa. Oh God. What was that? Farted. What? I farted. Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> he farted. Oh my God, that'd be worse. That's the second one. Oh, Dad just parted big time, and he's just sitting in it. Oh my God! I'm used to it. Why don't you get out and check out downtown? I will. I'll sit right until I'm ready. Oh jeez! Oh my God! Just get out! I don't want to get out. What on your window or something? You could roll down a window. I'd rather smell it. Look at that nice little angle. You know, Michael, just remind me, when I was a little boy, my daddy used to bring us down here, you know, weekends. Because back then, man, people had blankets, man, spread everywhere, you know. And the whole, the whole thing had, had like a band up here on the gazebo. One night I was sitting here on the same, I, well, it ain't the same bench, because this bench had probably been placed nine, ten times, but I was a kid. My daddy had us sitting here, you know, we were listening to the band up there. And, 
They used to be what he used to sell, slaves. They just keep them in the bottom. And they'd bring them out and let you look at the teeth and you look at like a man, pick up, look at the hoofs, you know, and shit. Look, open their mouth, take the women, man, they spread their shirts open, you know, look at the breast, you know. But anyway, we were sitting there one day, man, and me and my dad and my sister, we were sitting there, band was playing, you know, and I'm like, ah, I was a little fuck. And there was a little black boy dancing up on the on stage, but he was just dancing to the gazebo, you know. He had on raggy ass clothes, you know, and no shoes. I said, Daddy, look at that man, look at that little boy, he up there dancing on that damn, on that gazebo. I said, can I go up there and dance, Daddy? Daddy said, no, you can't go up there, son. They, they kick you out. I said, they ain't telling him to move. Dad said, who are you talking about, son? I said, that little boy is right. He wasn't there no more. He just disappeared. Word was, he was one of the slaves that was sold. And before he was, before they, 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 they sold him, somebody shot him and killed him. Right there on the steps of that gazebo right there. And that's why whenever the gazebo would be out there playing, the little boy would be out there dancing. That's a true story. That's a true story. I know, I farted. <laughs> can, can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. Anyway, back during the Civil War before something right over there, you know? You ain't gonna be hearing nothing because of that bus. You're back during the Civil War, you know, before something just right there. And this is where the first first shot the Civil War was fired. And people that lived right, like on top of these houses, see on top of these houses and everything? Yeah. They would take their, their rocking chairs and shit, and they'd go up on top, and they'd watch them for a of being bombarded. And and they would just be there. And they say sometimes, you right here at nighttime now, and you hear some noise, and he's out. Ain't no way to get on them damn roofs either. And you hear rocking chairs rocking. They say people are still watching people uh, for a of being bombarded. That's creepy. That's a pretty true story. Can you imagine back in the old days, old man, this place, the, the pirates being hung and shit? The hang tree's right over there. Yeah, that's a big dog. Jesus. Certainly is. Put a saddle on that dog and ride him. So we are sitting here downtown. It's getting to the point where I may need this light soon. Oh God, I hate that. Fuck him. How come I can't get one with a light? Can't find them nowhere. I've been looking, dude. I can't find one. I don't even make them with lights anymore. I don't know where one would be. I think what they do is that you, you buy them, you have to buy the damn thing, the, the uh, add-on. Yeah, but that sucks. I like having the light built into it. Me too. So you getting scared? Eh, a little nervous. See, because I, you know, we've been picking up some sort of activity at your house lately. So. I know, I've been picking up a lot. That's because that water over there by my house. Water always attracts them. That could be it. It is it. I'll tell you what's beautiful. This. Look at that. Turn around and look at the skyline. I've seen it. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here all my life. I've seen it many a time. Now, does that answer your question? I guess so. Get the light out of my fucking face. Sorry. I'll have one of these goddamn spooks come and get you, you motherfucker. Oh, mighty spirit. Umala Malaka. Bring your ghost down. Hot Michael. Go, no. home, with, go home with his fat ass. Ooh. We can do that real spell we learned. Huh? Kumalada. I, I can dance to that. I rated it 95. What the hell are you trying to scare? Well, we're gonna leave. Good. I'm not gonna do what I did last year, and I may and I bring out the freaking ghost box where you're sleeping. I'm just gonna leave. All right. Because I was just in your house and it felt haunted. All right, buddy. Give me a hug. All right, Paul. Just in case I ain't here in the morning, because that ghost followed me home. I'm Look at that. There's a cat working on it. I think it's. Well, later, Pop. All right, buddy. See you later. Bye, Good night, Bridget. Bye. Well, I'm leaving Dad's. Tonight was the paranormal activity video. And that video is going up tomorrow. So, on the way out, when we were leaving downtown, Dad almost hit like two cars. I'm so cold. That was frightening. So, leaving now, tried to prank him. It worked, 
<laughs> it worked a lot better than I thought it would. Did you ever tell me it was a prank? No, what do you mean? That's leading up to the next prank. Which is what? 